We're going to do a short series of boiler tips about setting up our fuel train, our gas train, for the best success uh, at combustion tuning and stability. We're going to start with the regulator. Because all burners, once they're at the full rated input or high fire, basically operate like an on-off burner. It's the job of the regulator to ensure that we have the correct fuel available at full rate. So regardless of a boiler has been set up before or brand new, once we get the unit hot and running, we have to get it to high fire and we have to get that regulator set to ensure ease of the next steps of tuning. So what's involved in getting the regulator set correctly? Well, we've got to get the unit to rate or close to, or at least the high fire position. But each burner's got a manifold pressure or final delivery pressure at the burner head that's required to get that full input. So essentially our regulator has to be set to attain that at the manifold um, and compensate for any pressure drop through the rest of the fuel train. And if the regulator's set correctly at high fire, uh, accommodating all those pressure drops, we'll have a smooth transition to low fire and tuning the points in between. We're going to look at the business end of the gas train, the burner. When we set up the regulator to provide gas to a piece of equipment, we have to have some idea of how much pressure we need at the manifold or at the burner so that we know where to set the regulator. Power flame includes a uh, recommended gas manifold pressure right on the panel. On this burner, it's 2.9 inches water column. And ideally, this is a butterfly valve, our final fuel metering device. We will attain that 2.9 inches with this butterfly valve approximately 70 degrees open. Um, the benefit of that is that if this is most of the way open when we set the regulator, we won't have severe pressure drop across it at that point and it will minimize the pressure drop across the butterfly at low fire when it's a lot more sensitive to position changes. So we don't want the butterfly all the way open when we set the regulator because we'll have wasted travel before it actually begins to throttle the gas, but we don't want it less than halfway open either because then we have more pressure drop across it and we make the tuning process more sensitive. We're going to talk about the linkage component of burner setup. We've got to get the regulator set right, we've got to get the right travel range on the butterfly valve, but we've got to match that with combustion air. So we use linkages and geometry to adjust the travel degrees and initial speed and final speed of each component so that we can match the air and fuel through the range. Now when we're setting up the regulator and the butterfly, I need to have enough air that I have safe combustion. But once I get the flow of the gas correct, then I'll use the linkages to finalize the air adjustments to get the air to match the fuel input. The final stage of combustion tuning, which is usually adjustment of a characterization cam, if we have one. A characterization cam gives us the ability to make adjustments at individual points in the tuning curve to fine tune the fuel air ratio. Um, the important thing to remember though is we don't start with the characterization cam. We've got to get the regulator set to get the right pressure. We've got to get the butterfly set to get the right range of travel. And once those are adjusted, we adjust the linkages to get combustion as close as possible. And then our final aspect is tweaking individual points on the combustion curve to optimize tuning. 